Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress as recorded by the Hollies on guitar. We're going to start off with that opening riff that kicks this tune off and uses something called arpeggio picking. It almost sounds like finger style because you're just picking through the strings in a really cool way to create that classic opening riff. Then we're going to move into the verse groove and cover the pre-chorus and the the chorus. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step, but before we jump in, if you're new here, I want to hook you up with something right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five chords and scales that you need to know to map out the entire fretboard, and it's going to show you how to take these chords and scales and put them together, and it sounds like a lot of information, but I was able to put it all on one page, and I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below and you can download this one page PDF, print it out, keep it on your music stand as a super handy resource as you're putting these songs and riffs together. So use the first link down below or just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress as recorded by the Hollies on guitar. Now we're going to kick it off with this opening classic riff. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So we're starting off on the low E string. We're going to pluck that note, then play the open fifth string and hammer to the second fret. From there, you're going to play the open fourth string and then third string, like this. And you want all the notes to ring over each other. This is sort of like an arpeggio picking style. It almost sounds like finger picking just in the way that you play the individual strings. Then we're gonna play open third string to the fourth fret of the fourth string back to the open third string. That's the first bar. Give that nice little tension there. Then we play the open second string, then the second fret on the fourth string. Then that's open strings here, three, four, three. Then play the second fret on the fifth string to the open fourth string. So that's bar two. Bars one and two put together. Then we make these little shapes down here. It looks like part of a G chord. We're gonna play just strings six, five, and four. Here I've got three, two, open. Then go to two, open, open, same strings. Then play three, two. Then in the last measure, we'll go play the open fourth string and then we'll move this up, not necessarily slide, just move up, five, four, and then open. Then finish with, that's the third fret of the low E to the fourth string open. Then move second fret of the low E to the fourth string open. It's a little walk down. So, one and two and three and four and so bars three and four played together sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and up to speed. Then with the first two bars, then it goes again. That's the 
intro, and up to speed, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> we go into a blues rhythm pattern, just this little groove. And this is used in so many songs. It's just a little rhythm pattern based off of an E chord. We're gonna play the second fret on the fifth string and then open E. Then we'll move up to four and then five, then back down like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's it. Now I am using a little bit of palm mute here when I play this. I think this sounds best played palm muted. That's gonna go for eight bars. From there, we're gonna go into the verse. And that's where the lyrics come in. Saturday night, I was downtown. We're gonna continue that E rhythm pattern, but mix in a G and an A with it. We're gonna play this. Okay, this is the first four bars. So I'm playing that E rhythm pattern. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we go to G. Any G will work. I like this just two finger G here, playing the third fret of the low E and the third fret on the second string. Then go to A with one finger, open two, 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 starting on the fifth string. Back to the E. Okay, so that's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and G, G, A, A, E for one bar. Then it starts again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, G, G, A, A, E. Now here we've got one extra bar of E. And then the whole thing repeats again. So here's the entire verse. This would be from the repeat. One, two, three, four. From there, we go to this pre-chorus section, and that's where the lyrics say, a pair of money bags made me open my eyes. We're gonna play five bars. Here's what it sounds like. Then we're into the chorus there, long cool woman in a black dress. So for the pre-chorus, we're just using two chords, an A, we're gonna do this little rhythm pattern on it. We're gonna play the open fifth string, then the second fret on the fourth string, and we're gonna rock back and forth. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then go up to B, two and four here. Second fret of the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string. We're just gonna play eighth notes. One and two and three and four and all downs here with the strum hand, keeping that palm muted going. This lasts for three bars. So one and two and three and four and two, three, then the chorus. this little vamp here on an E chord. So what the chorus is, is two bars of A, and this is right where the lyrics come in, long cool woman in a black dress. We're gonna play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then go to G, one, two, three, four to E. And that's back to that E rhythm pattern. And we kind of hammer into it from open strings. That's a really cool just rock and roll thing. You play just open strings and then hammer into that E and then start the rhythm pattern. Then again, G. 
And then we just have this breakdown on, on an E where these there's these little guitar fills. So that's just... It's, it's like hammering into it an E chord here, and you're gonna play upbeats. Two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and three, and four, and... So there I'm playing the open fifth string, hammering to the second fret, then open D, and then open D again with a rest in between. Then we go back to the groove. We go back to like our intro. Now the second verse, there's a little variation. We actually skip the pre-chorus and we extend the verse a little bit and then go straight from there into the pre -chor or into the chorus. Then after chorus two, you just fade out on that E groove. Take your time with that opening riff and the different sections of this song and just rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And I recommend working it out just one section at a time. You could take each section and just make that like your practice exercise. And then once you're done working on it, you can put it together and play the song. And that's what it's all about is making music. And to help you even more with that, be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is just a one page PDF that you can print out and keep on your music stand or on your desktop. And it's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know what's your number one struggle with guitar right now. Just comment it down below so I can make some future videos here on the channel to help you out. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.